Automotive X Prize is a multi-stage competition to create production-capable vehicles that get at least 100 miles per gallon. The focus is on efficiency, safety, affordability, and a reduced environmental footprint. But there's also $10 million in prize money at stake. In February 2009, 43 teams qualified to begin the four stages of the competition. X Prize hopefuls from around the world gathered at Michigan International Speedway to put their vehicles through extensive testing. The first stages, shakedown and knockout, narrowed the field to 15 teams. By the second week of the final stage, emotions were high. 45-7-9! 11 teams remained, but not everyone survived. Western Washington University worked so hard and improved so much throughout the months of competition. But were eliminated after failing the avoidance maneuver test. Edison, too, who had three cars remaining in the competition, ran into trouble during the acceleration tests. Got the clutch. Turns out, their engine blew. After passing months of technical inspections and on-track tests, nine vehicles remained. To determine the leaders of the pack, a race of sorts took place. This timed event had the cars travel 100 miles around the track to determine the fastest car in each class. It proved to be the most exciting challenge yet. The X Prize team was behind the scenes, tracking the progress of the cars as they competed in the event. X Prize officials used this telemetry software to make sure the finalists stayed within the contest guidelines. But the data was broadcast live on the web, so anyone interested could see the event unfold and track the results. Team Aptera started out with such promise and looked to be the one to beat, but suffered heartbreak when they broke down around mile 34. The Zap crew came out of the gate with high hopes and were doing beautifully, even passing stronger performers, but ran out of juice with only about three miles to go. But this doesn't mean the end of the road for Aptera and Zap. All team results need to be calculated and weighed first, but it does make a win much tougher. What's next? Teams travel to Argonne National Lab in Illinois for the final tests, the validation stage. Winners will be announced September 16th in Washington, D.C., so stay tuned.